Cash is going to get up and help. If you don't want to. Uh, hello. Welcome to the third video of the Ecuador birding trip that Gail and I took in late January, early February of 2023. Um, the tour was led by John Finkstra of Wings Birding Tours and it was fantastic. I hope you enjoyed the first two videos of the hummingbirds and the mountain area. Today we're going to show you a video from the area to the west of Mindo. We were, our hotel was in Mindo and we would drive out, oh say an hour to the west, uh, several mornings. This will show you Nope and Rio Solange and that area. And uh, it, it gets into a little more of the traditional tropical birds um, in addition to the hummingbirds and mountain tanagers we showed you in the previous two videos. So I hope you enjoy. And I'm sorry the little doggies wouldn't participate in the opening this morning. So enjoy. We started out at Milpe at the hummingbird feeders, which is of course the first thing we came to. Here you can see green thorn tails, white neck jacobins, green crown brilliant. I think a rufous tailed hummingbird flies through at one point, maybe another one or two. We began to see toucans at this reserve. This is a yellow-throated or chestnut mandibled toucan. You can tell it's not the choco toucan by the bill, which is chestnut colored on the bottom and longer than that of the choco toucan. Guayaquil woodpecker. Just a little smaller, a couple inches than a pileated woodpecker. Note the white V shape on her back. She's likely a female by the facial markings. Ornate flycatcher, a cute, tiny little bird we saw in a number of locations. Orange-billed sparrow, another small bird with striking good looks. This is a spotted wood creeper. We saw several, though light colored circle around its eye made it fairly easy to identify. Choco Toucan. Apologies, this is a little shaky. It was pretty far away. Gale Crested Pygmy Tyrant, another cute little flag catcher, this one with an interesting crest. And now a couple non-birds from Milpay. Gail said this snail was larger than her hand. This is a Central American agouti, friend of mine from Panama and Mexico. The next day at the Rio Solange Reserve, we climbed this tower to get up into the canopy closer to the treetop birds. We saw numerous swallow-tailed kites from the tower, and I finally got a decent picture of one after missing at other locations through the years. This white-tailed trogon made good use of the foliage for hiding, so this is the best shot I could manage. Here's a quick video, then some pictures of a masked Tatira. In the last one, it looks like he's got a lizard.
A little black-faced darkness in the treetops, a female. I needed our leader, John, to identify this one for me. I could identify this one myself, though. It's a female green honey creeper, something I'd seen in Panama previously. Now for some entertaining birds, pale mandibled arasaris. Arasaris always seem to travel in groups and be quite active. This is a lineated woodpecker. The lines on its back are parallel rather than in a V shape as the Guayaquil woodpecker earlier. It's about the same size though, a little smaller than a pileated. A plain brown wood creeper. As you might suspect with the name, it has many fewer markings than the spotted wood creeper seen earlier. This is a golden olive woodpecker, a species we had seen for the first time last summer in Mexico, but here we saw it much better than we did then. This is a smooth-billed Annie. I used to see these in Puerto Rico. They're relatives of cuckoos and can make quite a wide variety of noises. They're fun. This is a rufous-tailed jacamar. I'd always wanted to see a jacamar, but had missed them in other locations. This one was kind of far off, but still showed well enough that I was happy. On the way back from Rio Solange, we stopped off at the Capari Lodge for a quick snack. It had a beautiful overlook of the river and numerous feeders with a lot of good birds, which I'll show you now. One bird I wanted to see in South America was the hornero. This is a pale-legged hornero. Another South American bird high on my list was this masked water tyrant. The showstopper of all birds, though, is this Rufus Motmot. I'd seen them in Panama before, but I just love them. They are really fascinating. I was happy for Gail to see them, especially up close, putting on a good show. We were also joined by another Arasari family, two adults and a youngster. They put on a good show as well. Sharp. 
That ZZ Top said the other night, every girl's crazy about a sharp dressed bird. <laughs> Ecuador has so many pretty tanagers, including this Gira tanager. Another pretty tanager that showed somewhat better is this gray and gold tanager, the gray being obviously somewhat more prominent than the gold. Some years back in Panama, I had heard this buff rump warbler singing, but I had not seen it. This one was the first one I'd seen. The clip is a little out of focus at the end, but I wanted you to have the opportunity to hear it sing as well. White whiskered hermits are so pretty that even though they were included in the hummingbird video, I had to include one again. I think one more video will wrap it up. Next time I'll include the Mindo area, including the area around the lodge where we stayed, as well as a few other places somewhat closer to Mindo that we visited. Thanks again for watching. Please click subscribe to see the other videos. Click like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.